it's me again, Shalai. So, in this video, it's all about collection and preparation of this soil samples. So the first things to do is to select the sampling site, inspect and take note of its land features such as topography or the slope, texture, drainage condition, and crop rays. And after that, preparing your sampling equipment such as bucket, spade, plastic, or ziplock bag in order for you to start the activity. First, scrap away the grass or plant residues. out with the use of spade and discard enough so well so that clean vertical sides about 20 to 30 cm depth is exposed. So third, Use metal stick or roller to size 20 to 30 cm depth and stream the sides of the sewell slice, leaving about 3 cm or 1 inch strip in the bucket. And repeat the steps up to 10 times sub sewell sample are taken. This sample should be taken at random and equally distant point throughout the lot in a zigzag direction. Then, break the big clots into smallest possible size, then pour the sewell on a clean plastic sheet. After you gather the sub sewell samples, mix all the sewell collected. After that, mix the sewell and pulverize it discard the other part cards. After spreading the sewell, divide it into four quadrants, discard the two quadrants and retain the other two. Repeat this process until the remaining samples is only one kilogram. After that, spread again the composite sole sample on a drying place. After a week, when the sole sample is already dry, pulverize the sole, discard the particle, and store the sole samples in a plastic bag. So now, as you can see, this sole sample is ready for analysis. So I am guys, tapos na po yung video natin and I hope you learned something from it. And thank you so much for watching and see you in my next video. So, um, this is me again. Shall I? Stay optimistic. Be okay. Bye-bye. Mwah-mwah. <laughs>